Paul Serapusco here with Flare Systems. Today we're going to be talking about our T-Series cameras. So first and foremost, it's one of the most ergonomically advanced thermal cameras ever created by Flare. The nice thing is that it only weighs in at 2.9 pounds or 1.2 kilos. So it's light and easy to carry. First thing to notice about our T-Series line of cameras is the optical rotating block. Basically, this allows us to really get into a much more ergonomic stance when you're using thermal imaging cameras. So when you're out there and you're doing a lot of uh, thermography and you're doing a lot of scans in your facility, indoors or outdoors, you can comfortably set the block to where you want it. So all that neck strain, all of the arm strain is gonna be by reduced by really setting the camera into that comfortable position that's really best suited for you, the user. Let's talk a little bit about now the uh, LCD display. One of the things that you'll notice with our camera system is that we all not only have a built-in four inch high resolution display, but we also have a built-in viewfinder. So adding the viewfinder now gives us the ability to go from the LCD or the viewfinder itself. One of the nice features is, as soon as you put your eye up to the cup, you'll notice the LCD in the back has shut off. Okay, so now allowing the user to quickly go from the viewfinder to the LCD effectively. So let's talk about another really unique feature of our camera system. So on the T-Series camera, you have the ability to focus, really dial in that uh, target that you're looking at in two ways. The first easiest way to do it is right on the lens assembly itself. It has a very nice, uh, smooth, tactical focus that you can turn right or left here to really get that fine uh, picture tuned in. If you wanted to, you can quickly then also use, on the top here, we have two buttons. So on the top button, as soon as we click it, the camera will automatically focus in. Even if you need to do some fine tuning after the fact, you can autofocus and then fine tune that image so you get this nice, crisp thermal image up on your screen. So here we have our new T865 camera. It has a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels, yielding 307 1,200 pixels. One of the other nice features of this new T865 is its accuracy. We have now got the camera accuracy down to plus or minus one degree Celsius or plus or minus one percent of the reading. So you know that when you're operating with this system, the information that you get, the targets that you take pictures of, you know that they'll be accurate. So now let's talk about Another great feature in our T-Series line of cameras is a feature called Ultramax. We just talked about resolution, so now you need more pixels on that target. Ultramax gives it the ability to set the feature in the camera, and then when you store an image now in Ultramax, it essentially will quadruple the number of pixels. So for a 640 by 480 camera, this will now take your resolution from 307,000 pixels well past 1.2 million pixels. So as you come back into the software, you'll be able to now change that image, get the Ultramax image that you need, hence putting more pixels on your target. So the way Ultramax works is, we basically take rapidly 16 images that merge together, again, when you bring this back into our software system. Another nice feature in the camera that is built in is a feature that we have patented called MSX. MXX is a unique way of enhancing the thermal imaging capabilities of our T-Series cameras. So built into every one of our T-Series cameras is we have a visible light camera. It's not like your typical fused image that you've probably seen on other systems. MSX gives us the ability to really enhance, take that visible uh, built-in camera image and apply it to the thermal. It really brings out the visible image details Kind of like when you're looking at, you want to see numbers, textures, structural features, we emboss that information right onto the thermal. Another really nice feature in our camera system is what we call one touch level and span. So this is really handy. Let's say that you're outdoors and if we've all done thermal imaging outdoors, we know we got a really cold sky and maybe we have a really warm target that we're looking at. So what's the camera doing? It's taking the highs, it's taking the lows of the thermal contrast and really trying to get you a nice, good quality image. But sometimes that's not enough. So when we use our one touch level and span, we can quickly go into manual mode and just really nice is anywhere where we touch on the screen, 
the camera will essentially take that gain, that level, and adjust it for where you touch. So let's say there's a really cold background and you want to really highlight or accentuate the cold background. You simply touch the screen and a camera will automatically adjust based on just where you touched, looking at, at that temperature information. One of the things that you'll notice is that on the back and on the bottom of the optical module, we have two buttons labeled P. And these are programmable buttons. A lot of our users, when you're operating the camera system, want to be able to jump to, let's say, certain features, certain items within the camera system without having going through the menu itself. Well, the P button allows you to do that. And there's also another button on the bottom here. This is our laser button. The laser is really, really nice when you can go ahead on your camera system and show somebody this is the exact target that you're looking at. And now they know what to fix. And there's no second guessing. There's no, well, I thought you pointed to this one. Well, with the laser, we can very, very precisely point out that point or point out that location on the camera system itself. Our laser is also a distance measuring tool. So as you indicate, and press the laser on your screen, it'll give you distance from the camera lens all the way to that target. After you take your measurements, you want to store your image. Well, we store our image in a standard JPEG or .jpg file format. This is really nice. So not only can you take this JPEG image and apply it to, let's say, any one of your MS Office programs or software platforms very easily just to show the image, one of the other things is we do is we embed all the calibration and metadata into that JPEG image. But when you're in the field, there might be other things that you want to capture. Let's say, for instance, that you want to do a voice recording. Well, guess what? Our camera has built-in voice recording capabilities. You can also then apply text comments. One of the nice things about our camera system is you don't have to go back and try to match the field of view after the fact. So what I'm saying is when you store an image, our camera will automatically do what's called field of view match and match up the field of view based on what thermal uh, information you stored, what lens, the distance, what zoom factor to the visible image. So again, when you bring it back into your report, everything's already done for you. Say you're outdoors and you've got a really big location that you're scanning, but hey, maybe you also want to record the GPS coordinates so that when you pull it into your report, you can show a map of exactly what that target is, where were you, a time, a date stamp. That could all be stored in the camera itself with our GPS coordinates uh, built in. One of the other nice features of our camera system is the ability to interchange different optics. So whether you're looking at a target very, very close where you might need a wide angle lens or you want to look at that target maybe an outdoor transmission line or something in a refinery that's really far away. So from a safe distance, we could use different optics. Really simple to use, right? On the camera system, you can see our blue um, ring right here. All we're gonna do is go ahead and twist that towards me. The optics comes off, and you maybe wanna grab your nice six degree lens to get those far distance targets. It only really goes in one way. There's a flat here, of course, and you can see the flat on the optical block. We're just gonna go ahead and line that up and go ahead and twist that ring. And now you have your six degree lens that's really ready to go. The camera will automatically calibrate itself and off and running you go to get those nice targets in the field of view that you're looking for.